Hey guys, how you doing today? This is Steve on the Guru Brew. Hey, today I've got a uh, Aspire laptop in here from Acer that uh, needs repaired. Customer brought it by and said it was running really slow. Some strange windows were popping. You know, it sounds like it might be uh, filled up with a bunch of junk, maybe a virus. So uh, I'm going to guide you through how I would take care of this problem and maybe bring some life back into this Acer Aspire. So uh, hang out with me and uh, we'll get started. Okay, well this is the Acer Aspire laptop that I was telling you about. It's a fairly recent machine. It's a dual core. It's got the Windows 7 on it. Looks like it's a little bit dirty, but uh, I do have the power cord with it. I think a young kid actually owns this thing, so you know, it's hard telling what could be wrong. Not that an adult can't do the same thing. Uh, yeah, this isn't going to focus, but it's an Aspire uh, 5250 series model number. P5WE6 and it's got uh, Windows 7 Home Premium on it. Alright, well, let me get the power cord out, plug it in, and find out what it's doing. Okay, we're just starting to fire it up here and see what the problem is. First thing that came up here is the window recovery here. It's asking me how I want to start it up. I can take the safe mode or I can. Uh, normally try to start it so this is the first indication that somebody's either shut it off wrong or it's crashed or something like that so let's just start it up normally here and let's see what happens I like to run the machine as a normal at first so I can experience the problems myself firsthand before I try to um, you know make make an assumption about anything so basically I just play with it a little bit turn it on and uh, get a feel for it I do not hook up the internet at all though yeah, I make sure that I keep the Ethernet plug unplugged and certainly don't put in my web key till I'm sure that this machine is safe okay so I'm gonna log in here and yeah, it's got two accounts let's just see what happens okay well there were two accounts on the windows 7 startup and the first one was password protected and the second one was not if it had been both protected i would have had to uh, call the customer or just crack the second one and uh I, there's no need to crack it because the second one wasn't protected so uh yeah i mean the desktop looks pretty clean on this one so far i don't really see any uh, thing that really stands out at me at the second here. I'm um, just looking through here for any signs of anything going wrong, and uh, seems quite normal. Um, let's flick the ta task manager and see what we got running in the background here. Well, at first glance, it doesn't look too bad at all, actually. Those are the processes. Here's the server services. So most of the services are off. I don't have much CPU load and uh, memory. Okay, so the hardware does look good. I tell you, um, normally what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and if I have the customer's permission, I'll just wipe and restore. And uh, this this customer already gave me the permission to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that rather than trying to find out, you know, what little viruses or what little applications might be off. 
because that could lead into some big money and uh, frankly this customer just doesn't want to pay that so wipe and restore is the answer for this now what I could do right now to find out how to wipe and restore if I'm unsure about this model number I could just google the uh, model number and, and uh, find out how to boot it from uh, the restore menu um, but usually in doubt F8 is the answer so we are going to uh, restart the machine and start tapping F8 and see what happens hang by for that I'm waiting for this to reboot. I just thought I'd be a little more clear on my decision to go ahead and wipe and restore. Um, the main reason why I fired up the machine is just to make sure the hardware seemed sound and that there weren't no issues before I start uh, doing the wipe and restore. So that's the main reason why I got it going. I had already gotten the permission from the customer. So uh, yeah, let me uh, start tapping up eight here and we're gonna restart. Okay, here's what we need, that first one. Yeah. You know, back, uh, back in the XP days in uh, Vista, uh, you know, they didn't have the repair your computer inside F8, so uh, this wasn't so easy back in the day, so uh, that's why I've always said that uh, computer repair is becoming a thing of the past. They've made it a lot easier now for most folks to do their own. So uh, that's why I've decided to make these videos because it is simple and I think that a lot of people would prefer to do it themselves and uh, you know if I can help you out with these videos and uh, it's all worthwhile. So let's just keep moving on this. Okay. On the backup menu, I have a message about the recovery options. It's just asking me, uh, you know, the keyboard input method. I'm just going to follow this on through. Now, it's asking me who I want to recover. And I am going to go with um, the guy that doesn't have the uh, password. That's the first one here. Let's go with OK. All right. Now, if I hadn't known the password at that point, I would have had to crack it. But since I know it, I'm good to go. Um, this is the one I want right here. System from factory defaults. Go. OK, I have a choice right now. I can retain user data. I don't like using that one usually because what happens is if there is a problem and with the user data, you know, the virus will never go away if it was a virus or a serious system problem. So I like to do a restore operating system to factory default where the hard drive is completely restored and formatted, which is the top one here. It's just warning me. I'm going to go ahead and click on next here. It's telling me that the partition size is going to be changed to 450. 0.7 gigabyte. I'm going to go ahead and say go ahead. It's warning me one more time because once I do this, I can't go back. Everything will be erased. Okay, so this is definitely going to take some time. As soon as it's finished up, I'll come back here and uh, we'll look at what's been done so far. So uh, hang tight and uh, we'll come back. Yeah, I just thought I'd give you a quick update about the timeline and how long this takes. If you look, um, this is my progress. I'm 10 minutes into it. It's 100%. Now it's updating the system. So when it's completely finished, uh, I'll come back with another update on the elapsed time. Okay. Well, just another update here. Hey, it's been... Uh, it's been about 35 minutes and uh, now it's starting to install all these programs. Uh, good or bad, I don't know. I, it, I think it's junk word to be honest with you. 19 to 37, so this could take another half hour actually. 
So we're just going to let her go, and I'll be back. Okay, it's been about 68 minutes. We started about uh, 2.30. So uh, I just noticed it was starting to come up here. All the updates have been taken. Oh, it's still working. Oh, look. So yeah, this isn't uh, an easy process. It does take some time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill this out, and uh, I'll be back in a few minutes with uh, final words. Okay, so I selected a username. I didn't film that, but I just put in my username. And then I gave it a password, and you certainly want to give it a password, because if you don't, um, you there's a possibility you could get hacked through that means. So make sure you use a password. Even if you're not uh, using the computer around other people, uh, yeah, you want a password. So I just accepted all the agreements. And just use all the recommended settings. Make sure you set up your time. And check your calendar and your clock. Make sure you've got the right times. Looks like it's going to be about an hour and 45 minutes. It's asking me to join a wireless network. I'm going to skip that because this isn't my computer. And uh, it's finishing the install. Okay, the restore process is just about finished. I'm not going to bore you with the rest of the details. But this is the way that you can restore an Acer uh, laptop. Uh, be sure that all your hardware is working properly before you start the install. Make sure that you save off any data before you do a full system restore because it will certainly be gone if you format the hard drive with a factory recovery. You want to go to the Windows Update website and make sure that everything is updated and all your service packs have been taken. Check for your device drivers. If you don't know how to do that, we'll make a second class later on. Leave it in the comments if you're interested in seeing that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and register the product, wait for this to finish, and do those things that I mentioned. And uh, we'll be done with the job. I can call the customer. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a good one. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.